COVID-19 has had a more profound impact on black and rural communities compared to other populations. And that's according to the largest COVID-19 study uh, of this kind to date. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey joins us now with the details. Katira. Phil and Alexis, researchers say the study essentially reaffirms what many people already expected, but now there's additional support for the data, adding they think it's important for policymakers to consider as they think about ways to recover from the pandemic and help people get back on their feet. Researchers with the Reagan Streif and IU Richard M. Fairbanks School of Public Health evaluated COVID-19 data from March 2020 to December 2020. The conclusion, they found COVID left lasting impacts in black and rural communities. When the pandemic began, it initially showed higher impacts in urban communities. Brian Dixon is the lead researcher and said it quickly shifted. What was um, you know important about this study is that we were looking kind of at all these factors and then doing that kind of more robust uh, analysis of the data. The research took into account COVID test results from about 1.8 million Hoosiers. They looked at both hospitalization and death records. Research showed black people in rural areas had three to four times higher chances for hospitalization compared to white counterparts living in urban areas and death rates were about double. Important for policymakers as we think about how we're going to recover from the pandemic. These communities that were hit hardest by COVID-19, they're going to need to recover and they're going to need programs. Dixon says the data also shows the first wave of COVID infections were highest in urban areas, but in the summer of 2020, things changed and hospitalizations and death rates started rising in rural locations. We saw rates pick up at the end of the summer last year. This year is more like right in the middle of the summer. But the patterns and trends look eerily the same. And researchers say this study covers a period of time when vaccines weren't widely available, though they are now easily accessible. Researchers say the data that comes in so far this year still looks very similar to what we saw the same time last year. Reporting in the studio, I'm Wish TV News 8's multicultural reporter. Katira Winfrey.